that I had never seen, and that it threw the people who were speaking about him and um, how important he was to children and to um, just the regular people of the town, you know. Yeah. I mean, to me, Garrett was this extremely mysterious mind that knew everything that I would never know, perhaps the little bits of, who had read everything that I'd ever thought of, who was the most esoteric mind that I could possibly imagine. And yet, he was sort of Walt Whitman to the, to the local people or something. I, I don't know how, how I missed quite how rich that was. But for me, the Garrett that I related to um, is a poet whose work is great in the sense that it gets greater every time I come back to it over so many years. Um, like I, I always feel it's showing me itself for the first time. And my sense of that is, is, is that, um, I don't know, as a sort of committed Blakeian, uh, the phrase that Blake gave that writing is divine revelation in the literal expression is more helpful in reading Garrett than in any almost any poet that I could think of in his time. Though I mean that would be true of many poets, but, um, but Garrett it was explicitly true. So I'm just going to read uh, three short pieces of his. Um, I wrote a long poem to Garrett, but it wouldn't be wouldn't fit the time slot. Um, Three poems. I'm reading from the book he gave me, signed in 1998, February 25th, 1998. So it feels like he's here. Planting the amplitudes of sea stoned altitudes, the constellated swing salts my glory to eyes, makes free. I am here as I am here. Finding form, one calls this opening or sunburst, not the toiling of the sea or other cantling. Time is not the sea, not like the sea. Disposal of trash, no, sorry, disposal of you, trash of memory, have gone made in Europe. Analogies that fake the line like heirlooms, family ideas. I hold the stick of bareness to be hard man, wildly exquisite and utter. It is, of course, not simple place, the seeding of a course, like what a course, a uh, moving water meeting. In Gloucester, Heraclitus, yes. But I know for every man there are places, amplitudes, signatures of heart he can plant and he must plant. Second one is the curve. How one incurs the burden of a city and Indians. This is where I came in, by the pest house, through the old woods, 
not over that flubbery span, no sentinel owns, comes into one's own reality, making the place by pacing the place live or live, change vowel I, heart, the stature commensurate to the gist of the nation, imagination. Again, the curve, the way it slants in, the lay of the land, unseen but by Indians then, thanks ever be to Charles Olson for Indians then. The alien eyes, my eyes have seen the, my eyes alien, Dutch, not Indian. Outer planetary, <laughs> were keener for the curve, how wolves and lions came in. Some affirm that they have seen a lion at Cape Ann, which is not above six leagues from Boston. So I round another man's measure to round my own, to speak of discover the pristine we work to inherit, native load. To shoot out again is not to make up some queer hemisphere. It is to smell, to dig with the hand, to demonstrate, and at last, to reclaim, to come in, like Indians, on this curve. From the ravening wood to a city we once could be citizens of. Weed Udana. Uh, Udana is a is the word usually it's taken to mean the ancient um, Pali Canon word. It just means something sort of like inspired or revealed utterances. And there's also a meaning of it that's interesting. It's in yoga, and it's one of one of the words that refers to the throat. This, the source of speech, and therefore related to poetry. So, weed udana. Food is not the enemy. Certainly, food is not the enemy. For the third time, and now most, and I make it most true, and to be held in the refrigerated water of flower of mind, food is not the enemy. Only if life is held to be the enemy can food be so conceived. And that life is the enemy is a burning distraction conceived by life itself as part of its gag. But no one has to be muzzled. And this is not to say that other boring half kernel long known that we are the enemy, because there is an enemy. And it's no good pretending it's some hypothetical you or us, or a weed. What is a weed? A dirty word to be abolished as we re-inhabit Adam's old garden and softly or lovingly, roughly, caress the genitals of God and goddess, walk in the beauty of morning and evening, rubefaction, forever. A weed is nowhere, or we are all weeds, all woed, all meant to be eaten as I carelessly weeding one noon pulled up by mistake, coriander, blessed it for food the next day, brown rice with cilantro. So many friends to play with we have. Weeds are what we smoke, we eat, we work with, what we are, how we joyously do and are done. 